This segment will provide some safety, operation, and maintenance tips for your new AgriFab 25-gallon tow sprayer. Make sure to read and understand the vehicle manual and the owner's manual before using the sprayer. Never allow children to operate this sprayer. Do not allow anyone to ride or sit on the sprayer. Keep the area clear of all persons, especially children. Read the chemical label before handling or mixing chemicals. Wear eye and hand protection and other protective clothing when handling and applying lawn chemicals. Do not spray on windy days. Be aware of your tractor's capabilities. Attaching this sprayer may affect your tractor's braking and stability. Stay off steep slopes. Refer to the vehicle's owner's manual concerning safe operation on slopes. Operate at reduced speed on rough terrain, along ditches, and on hillsides to prevent loss of control. The pump pressure switch turns off the pump when it reaches the maximum pressure setting. Very low flow demand may cause the switch to rapidly cycle the pump on and off. Rapid on and off cycling must be limited to no more than six times per minute. Cycling could cause the motor to heat beyond the recommended maximum temperature. The inline boom on off valve controls flow to the boom nozzles. The recirculation valve controls the ratio of spray wand pressure and recirculation to the tank. Determine the application rate based on the chemical manufacturer's recommendations. Refer to the application chart to determine the speed required to achieve the manufacturer's recommended application rate. Adjust the boom so the height of its spray tips are approximately 17 inches from the ground. If necessary, adjust boom height by raising or lowering the boom on the threaded boom supports. Use plain water to set the correct boom spraying pressure. Turn the boom valve to the on position. If misting occurs, gradually start closing the valve until misting stops. Add the chemical solution to the tank following the manufacturer's recommendations. Begin spraying, making each pass so that the spray pattern slightly overlaps the spray pattern from the previous pass. Stay clear of flowers, shrubs, and evergreen trees when spraying to prevent contact of the solution with these sensitive plants. To use the spray wand, ensure the boom valve is in the off position, then squeeze the spray wand's handle to spray. The sprayer is equipped with a recirculation valve to aid in material agitation and pressure control. The valve is in the open position when in line with the hose and closed when perpendicular. Adjusting the valve will only affect the pressure coming through the spray wand. The closed position provides full pressure through the spray wand or boom and should be in the closed position when operating the boom. You can adjust the pressure when spraying with the spray wand to avoid damage to plants from excessive pressure. After each use, Fill the sprayer partway with water and pump the water out through the boom assembly and spray wand. Refill the tank about half full of water and a chemical neutralizer solution and repeat the cleaning instructions. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for disposal of all chemicals. Periodically, clean the tank strainer on the end of the intake hose. Remove the nylon swivel nut from the hose. Pull out the screen and flush it with water. Remove the boom nozzles, pull out the screen and flush it with water. For winter storage, drain all the water out of the sprayer, especially the pump and handgun. These items are prone to damage from freezing temperatures. Winterize the sprayer by pumping a 50-50 solution of water and RV antifreeze through the boom assembly and the handgun. Congratulations, your new AgriFab 25-gallon tow sprayer is now ready to use. For additional help or replacement parts, please call AgriFab at 1-800-448-448. 9282 from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, or visit www.speedepart.com to purchase replacement parts. Superior products and incredible customer service. That's why we can say AgriFab, lawn care made easy.